When setting out on a business journey, it's good to create a product or service that can solve specific problems or provide immense value to users. But it is also important to build a system that increases visibility, engages your audience, boosts sales, and scales the business. This is where proper marketing strategies come in. Marketing strategies have to do with various tactics businesses apply to reach their potential or existing customers. This application can be based on existing modules or entirely innovative. Importance of Marketing Are you just starting in business? Or does your business fall in the small and mid-sized business SMB, category? I'm sure you would want that business to grow but also to fulfill the purpose you had in mind while establishing it. The following points will throw more light on why you must consider marketing as your best ally in growing your business. It creates awareness. The importance of marketing in business concerns cannot be overemphasized. It is the singular tool that brings an unknown venture from the dark corner to public awareness. You may have a great concept that could help people and you want to share this idea with the world. There's no way anyone is going to know what you're doing unless you reach out to them. You must let people know about your brand in an organized form and what it stands for. Marketing gives you the platform to do this. It provides information. Through marketing, your audience gets informed about the processes involved in using your product. As a product creator, you may be well informed about the procedures and use of your creation, but your target audience may not know this. Information shared during promotion and publicity helps your consumers to understand the proper steps they need to follow to get the best results. It identifies interests. Your business is not for everyone's consumption. Well-structured marketing helps you to identify those who show interest in your product or service. You must collect the data of these prospective customers and reach out to them with targeted offers and incentives. It also saves you much time and resources as you narrow down your priorities to those who need them. Sales, Products and Services Marketing helps you achieve one of the most important goals of commerce, selling. You're in business to make money, right? Of course, the money won't come unless you sell. You can make sales only when the right awareness has been created. Then you will be able to identify the exact demographics for your audience and as such focus on improving delivery. It engages customers. One good thing about organizing marketing campaigns is that you get to build a relationship with your consumers. You can get client feedback. This information can be priceless because you can know your areas of strength and weakness. You can then improve on the quality of your offers for better results. Positive customer feedback can also serve as social proofs for future campaigns. It provides stability. The correct application of marketing strategies can provide stability in your business. The moment you identify the statistics of your loyal consumers, it becomes easy to put your business on viral automation. Your business is now gifted with a structure that can be duplicated with little or no additional effort. It sustains business growth. An organized structure helps in business growth. By the time you've gathered enough data for your business through a proper campaign, it becomes easy to focus on scaling your enterprise. It will become possible to duplicate systems. New entrants into your organization will be given a thriving blueprint to start from. This is the single factor that separates big corporations from the SMBs. Hey, are you finding this video helpful? If so, pause for a moment and hit the like button. And subscribe to never miss out on future uploads. Now, let's move on to different types of marketing. Whether the approach is based on traditional structures of marketing or new systems, there's only one goal, to grow your consumer base and increase sales. Here are some of the different types of marketing strategies. Traditional marketing. Traditional marketing involves all kinds of paid marketing effort that have been in existence even before the arrival of the internet. Businesses engaged the services of various advertising agencies who handled their promotional needs. This type of marketing involves printing banners, leaflets, brochures, running TV commercials, radio jingles, billboards, newspaper adverts, and more. It was and still is very effective. The low side of this type of publicity is that it requires a lot of money. While it may be easy for big brands to thrive on this kind of brand awareness, 
Most startup ventures won't have the financial capacity to pay for the services of advertising agencies. Word of Mouth Marketing This is the oldest type of marketing, and by far the most effective. Here, satisfied customers share their stories with other individuals. Let's look at this scenario. Mr. Goodman notices a new barbing outfit down the street. He walks in and gets a good haircut. He's served a bottle of chilled coke at no extra cost. As he leaves the shop, he shares his experience with everyone he knows. Before long, the story of the new barber's shop spreads like wildfire around town. The outfit starts getting more customers than they can handle. At this point, the owner may consider running a franchise based on newfound fame. See how effective this can be? SMS Marketing This type of marketing involves sending text messages to people's phones. Businesses source for the phone contacts of their prospective customers according to their demographics, such as location, age, and gender. Businesses also use this type of marketing to build a stronger relationship between existing customers and their brands. Here, customers' special moments such as birthdays, anniversaries, are recognized and celebrated by the company. New products, special offers, and promotions are also introduced to users by this means. It is a very effective way of bonding with consumers, maybe because it is easily accessible. Email Marketing This type of marketing involves reaching out to potential customers through their email contacts. Companies also use this means to build a stronger relationship with existing customers. Ideally, every email sent to a potential or an existing customer can be classified as email marketing. Business owners use this medium to introduce their brand, advertise new products, or broadcast promotional offers. Email marketing became popular with the emergence of internet services in the 1990s. It served as an advanced form of direct mailing marketing, which was done mostly through postal systems. The downside of this type of marketing is that it has been randomly abused in recent years. People wake up to several unsolicited emails in their inbox. They may not have the patience to look through to identify the useful ones. A lot more effort and creativity are required to get the attention of your potential customer and even your existing customer. It has become increasingly difficult to separate the grain from the chaff. Social Media Marketing This type of marketing involves building an audience on social media platforms with the sole intention of getting them to get involved with your brand. This is the most recent kind of marketing and its popularity is growing with each passing day. Here, individuals or businesses create engaging contents to inform, educate, or entertain their followers. Various social media handles, such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and so on, are utilized as accessible channels for engagement. It offers a more direct reach to consumers. With social media marketing, relationship building is key. The volume of success you'd have on this platform is determined by your ability to build trust and confidence in your audience. Your product or service is not only recognized by its effectiveness, but they're also assessed based on the personality behind the screen. The more engaging your contents are, and the more likable your personality is, the more loyal customers you are positioned to get. The Best Marketing Strategies So far we've seen how important marketing is for business growth. We've also seen the different types of marketing strategies that people use to get their products across to the consumers. Now let's look at the best marketing strategies that will be most helpful in growing a contemporary business. The market is always where the people's attention is focused. Gone are the days when people were glued to their TV screens or listened to the radio most of the time. These days, most people spend more time on their smartphones than any other channel. If you're just starting in a business with a limited budget, You'd want to get a sizable audience in a record time with minimal spending. You must consider looking into these areas. 1. Social Media The name of the game is content creation. Make use of social media handles as much as you can to get your message out there. Create engaging content that talks about your products. Let your followers know how they will benefit from your products. Share the latest information focused on your niche. Talk about yourself and some of the activities you're involved with. If your audience finds your content engaging and your personality warm, you're most likely to build a raving fan base of loyal consumers. 2. Blogging You need to start a blog for your business if you do not have one yet. Start posting information related to your product. You must be consistent and intentional. You may need to acquire some knowledge of search engine optimization to make your content more visible and gain wider reach on the web. 
You do not have to depend on your blog alone for traffic. That can be difficult if you're a beginner blogger. You should get involved with authority blogging. Reach out to established blogs in your niche and guest post your articles. Sign up to platforms such as Quora and Reddit and become an active contributor. Answer questions and comment professionally. As people begin to see you as an authority in your niche, you'll start drawing more traffic to yourself and more sales will begin to happen. 3. Video Tutorials People are beginning to direct attention to video streaming platforms such as YouTube. TikTok is the rave of the moment. Don't take these platforms for granted. YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world. People search for a solution to the problems they're facing. Create a channel for your brand and post videos that respond to people's inquiries within your niche. By the time you win the confidence of your audience, a good number of them will become loyal consumers of your products. 4. Influencer Marketing Social media influencers are individuals that have built a large fan base on their social media platforms. Some of them are celebrities with loyal admirers, while some built huge followerships simply by sharing valuable content. This type of approach works best if you have a product that's already converting. All you need at this point is to scale your brand to a larger audience. Contact the influencers within your niche and discuss terms with them. Their large fan base will bring more sales to your business. To get more value, you need to watch these videos. 10 Money Secrets You Won't Learn in School 10 Money Traps You Must Avoid at All Costs With that said, have a great day and see you all in the next one.